How's she going boys? Mike here. Some nice to have you back at Grampy's Workshop for another little quick project in the shop. Uh, spring is well underway now and uh, there's lots of opportunity to cut grass. <laughs> so Nanny is the grass cutter around the camp here and uh, she does a great job and uh, she's been out cutting grass and trimming here and there and everywhere. And uh, she likes to use a little whippersnipper that she has. It's a battery operated one. Uh, and, and it's light, easy for her to carry around, and because it's battery operated, she doesn't have to drag a cord, which is, really makes it convenient. Anyway, she was out whippersnipping the other day, and uh, she came to see me, and she said, My whippersnipper's not working. I need you to do a repair on it and put some line on it. So, those are the little spools that come out of her whippersnipper. And she has two of them, so God love her, she used both of them, and there's nothing left on them. So, I think it's time for old Grampy to get up off his chair and put some line on these uh, spools for Nanny. So uh, what I try to do is I try to uh, put the line on myself so what I can do is I can take the line here and it's 0 .065 that I use, 0 .065 and uh, what I used to do was I take that line and on the spool there's an arrow that shows what way you should wrap the line so then I would uh, put it in the start hole here and then you uh, wrap your line. When you wrap it by hand, uh, it was always a struggle for me to get the wraps nice and smooth on the spool. So I come up with this idea. Uh, and sometimes this works good, sometimes not so good. But I have a bolt. It's a 12 mil bolt maybe. And we put one washer on there and I put the bolt down through the spool. I have another washer here. Now, the problem uh, with this setup is the bowl is not the same diameter as the hole in the spool, so the spool sort of wobbles around. So what I try to do is when I put this nut on here to tighten her up, I try to get that bolt centered as best I can in the spool so that it doesn't, uh, so it's not too far out of round. And it doesn't have to be deadly, right? Because we're not going to spin this up at 1000 RPM when we're spooling that on there. But that doesn't look too bad. So we put one on the bottom, one on the top. Just snug it up. You don't need that singing tight. You just want to hold it steady, right? So there we have it there. Now, the little stub that's left out of here. Chuck that. So, so you see, if I spin this up, that's out around pretty good, but if you just go slow, it's not so bad. Alright, it's a good idea to check this before you put the washer on, because <laughs> just like right now, I can just barely see the arrows under here that show which way that the line should be sp uh, wound on it. And it's showing them going, what's that, clockwise I guess, the way you're looking at it. So, as I get that fed in through there, now I'll go slow to start and get a wrap on it. And you can see how nice and smooth those wraps are coming. And that's what the key is. So I'll just go slow and continue that. And I'll feed it back and forth. And let her feed in there kind of halfway to piece it. Whoa! Went a little fast there. Okay, when you get her almost full, there's a place on the surface here where you can tuck the line in. So you end up with a finished product that looks something like that. So uh, it didn't come out really smooth in the end, but uh, didn't turn out too bad. You just cut the line off. have to work on taking it out of the drill. <laughs> but anyway, there it is. I'll rewound. Take that nut and bolt out of there. And there's a new spool already. So there you go boys, we got the spool all wound up, ready to go, so I'll put that in the whippersnipper and Nanny will be able to go out and do some grass trimming this afternoon. 
so that was a quick simple little job and that's a quick little video but uh, that's you know sometimes you get easy jobs and that's those are alright too I don't mind getting a page load of those so uh, I hope you liked it I hope they found something in here that's useful and uh, it's just a, a bolt that you get it's got to be long enough to go through the spool and still have some that you can chuck in the drill so that's all there is to it thanks for watching take care and we'll talk to you